Unlocking the magic of when using when as a relative adverb. Hello there, language explorers. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of adverbs, specifically when as a relative adverb. This tiny but powerful word has the capacity to weave connections and provide context in a sentence. Let's decode its usage and understand its function better. First things first, let's establish what when as a relative adverb is. Relative adverbs introduce relative clauses, which provide additional information about the noun in the sentence. When is used as a relative adverb to indicate time. It connects the main clause to a dependent clause that tells us the time when something happened or will happen. For example, do you remember the time when we first met? Here, when is introducing additional information about the time mentioned in the main clause. Now that we have a grasp on what when does as a relative adverb, let's discuss how to use it. You can use when to link a main clause with a time-related dependent clause. An example would be, she's going back to Paris, when she will visit the Louvre. In this sentence, when is used to describe the time when she will visit the Louvre. Remember, we don't use when as a relative adverb after words that are not related to time. For instance, in the sentence, I remember the book that I was reading, when would not make sense as it doesn't relate to time. When using when as a relative adverb, it's easy to make a few common mistakes. One common error is to use when, where, where is needed. Remember, where is used to talk about places, while when is used to talk about time. For example, she remembers the town where she was born, not, she remembers the town when she was born. Another common mistake is overusing, when, while, when, can often help clarify your sentences, not every sentence about time needs it. For example, in the sentence, I remember the day, when, isn't necessary. And that's a wrap on, when as a relative adverb, a small word with a big impact. We've covered what it is, how to use it, and some common pitfalls to avoid. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep writing and speaking in English, and soon using when as a relative adverb will become second nature. See you in our next linguistic adventure.